Charles Sorre, born in 1854 in Geneva, Switzerland, was a Swiss physicist and chemist. He is known for his work on thermal diffusion, also known as the Sorre effect. The Sorre effect, described in a seminal paper published in 1879, is where small light molecules and large heavy molecules separate under a temperature gradient. My objective um, in this presentation today is to extend the maxwell stefan formulation to include the Sorre effect. My presentation is a follow-up to um, an earlier video titled Irreversible Thermodynamics of Diffusion on my um, YouTube channel. Let's begin with a, a recap from um, that presentation. The uh, starting point for developing um, flux driving force relationships for multi-component diffusion is the expression for the rate of entropy production that is obtained um, as a product of two terms, the uh, driving force and the uh, difference in the uh, velocity of uh, species I and the molar average velocity of the mixture. The, this product is summed over all the species. D is a uh, generalized driving force that is described uh, by this expression, where Ct is the total molar concentration of the mixture, R is the gas constant, T is the temperature. This is the isothermal isobaric gradient of the uh, molar chemical potential. Ci is the molar concentration of species I. We have um, the contribution of the uh, pressure gradient with a multiplier that is uh, the uh, term Ci, Vi, where Vi is the partial molar volume of species I. The product of Ci, Vi is the uh, volume fraction. The uh, pressure gradients are effective in um, separations only if there is a difference between the volume fraction and the mass fraction, as is the case in the separation of uranium isotopes with uh, ultracentrifugation. Then uh, we have the influence of um, the body forces, could be uh, electrostatic potential gradients. A simple physical explanation of um, this term here, CTRTDI, that has the uh, units of newtons per cubic meter, is that it is a force acting per unit volume of solution tending to move species I relative to the mixture. In the generalized maxwell stefan formulation that was developed in my um, earlier presentation on irreversible thermodynamics of diffusion, the uh, driving force is uh, written as being um, linearly related to the uh, Velocity differences between IJ pairs and uh, the Maxwell Stefan diffusivity for the IJ pair has the uh, physical significance of an inverse drag coefficient. The uh, XIXJ term in the uh, numerator serves to uh, describe the influence of the mixture composition on uh, the uh, friction between species I and species J. 
Now, starting with this uh, maxwell stefan formulation, we uh, introduce the influence of temperature gradients into uh, this equation so as to be able to uh, include the uh, Soray effect. The most convenient way to introduce the influence of uh, temperature gradients on uh, molecular diffusion in uh, multi-component mixtures is to uh, define augmented velocities u sub i superscript t where the uh, velocity for species i is augmented by a term that includes the temperature gradient. This term here d sub i superscript t is the thermal diffusion coefficient that has the units of kilogram per meter per second. This term dit divided by the mass density of a species i has the units of uh, square meters per second. The uh, use of the augmented velocities follows the treatment in the classic text by um, Hirschfelder, Curtis and Bird. To give an example, in uh, CVD processes, where CVD stands for chemical vapor de deposition, thermal diffusion causes large heavy gas molecules such as uh, WF6 with uh, thermal diffusion coefficients positive in value and um, larger than zero to concentrate in cold regions whereas uh, small light molecules like hydrogen has uh, thermal diffusion coefficients that are negative in value and they concentrate in the hot regions. Besides the thermal diffusion coefficient, other parameters describing uh, the thermal diffusion um, effect have been introduced in the uh, published literature on uh, the Soray effect. They include uh, thermal diffusion ratio, thermal diffusion factor, and the Soray coefficient. For a detailed derivation, consult my paper published in Chemical Engineering Science in 2019. The uh, derivations are available in the supplementary material accompanying these uh, accompanying this publication hydrocarbon reserves are subject to uh, segregation effects due to both gravity and the soray contribution the uh, temperature gradients are of the order of uh, 0.03 kelvin per meter with the temperature increasing with uh, the depths of the reserve. Let us look at an example of a um, hydrocarbon reserve with a depth of uh, 600 meters. And uh, I present here calculations for a hydrocarbon mixture consisting of ethane and normal decane. These calculations are from uh, my paper published in Chemical Engineering Science in 2016. The uh, black lines are for ethane and the blue colored lines are for normal decane. Um, due to gravity, the uh, composition of normal decane increases as we go deeper into the reservoir. The reverse is true for um, ethane that has a uh, higher concentration at the top than at the bottom. However, due to uh, the Soray effect, the uh, contribution of the Soray effect serves to 
increase the uh, um, composition of um, normal decane as we proceed from bottom to the top because the Sore effect acts in a manner that uh, moves the uh, larger molecule to colder regions. The reverse is true for ethane that moves from uh, the uh, colder regions to the hotter regions. So the combination of gravity and the Sore effect tends to uh, lead to smaller gradients in composition as compared to either gravity alone or the Sore effect on its own. The, uh, these calculations I present here are from my um, paper published in Chemical Engineering Science in 2016.